back to Better Living. I'm here with Steve from the Liquor Cabinet. He's my favorite. I told Jason he couldn't come on the show anymore once Steve came. It's it's our new rule. So I'm flattered. Yes, well, Steve is going to talk about wines for grilling. Wines right. we can have at a barbecue because, you know, tis the season. When it's not raining outside, which is not that often right now, uh, we like to go outside and barbecue. Or if you're like my husband, you say, who cares if it's raining? We're going to go outside and barbecue anyway. So what kind of wine? Because I think people tend to think, oh, we're out barbecuing. We're just going to have beer. But you don't have to. You can have wine when you're barbecuing, right? Absolutely. In fact, there are hundreds of wonderful wines out there just for that specific purpose. And unfortunately, we need the rain to go away. Well, we do need the rain to go away. <laughs> we will talk to John James about that very shortly and yeah. see what he can do for us. But if we are going to grill, what kind of wine? You have brought us a white and then three reds. White and three reds, yes. Some people like seafood, like maybe shrimp, uh, yeah. like shrimp kebabs or even whitefish. This is a wonderful wine. Sauvignon Blanc from uh, Michael Honig out of Napa Valley. I have to swirl, right? Yep. Give it a little swirl. Why, Give it a little swirl. Look at the legs. I almost sound like I know what I'm talking about, Donnie. Little pear on there. Very different from New Zealand. Stop. New Zealand's kind of grapefruit and grassy. This is a little more pear. Let me taste here. It is. I can definitely smell. Now I'm trying to. I'm trying to talk and little, taste and smell. I get a little smell. bit of lemon peel as I'm being adjusted. It's very good. Crisp. Very crisp. Very refreshing. Not too sweet. I would, dr I would drink this. Everybody that watches knows that I don't do sweet wine. This uh, is very good. I'm going to give it a nice chill as it yeah, has right yeah. now. It's good. Very nice. Very good. I'll take one more drink before I pour it out because I hate to pour out wine. It just seems wrong. This one runs about $15. Seems really Very reasonable. I've actually, okay. I've actually met the winemaker twice. Great oh. guy. Great guy. He will talk your ear off. And where is it? It's made in Napa Valley? Napa Valley. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we move on to a red. This is when you go for more of your, uh, you know, like burgers, um, possibly steak, barbecue chicken. This is a wine from Spain. This is Marquis de Caceres 2009 from Rioja. Now, you might ask, well, what does that mean? Well, it's 100% Tempranillo. That's the grape. Okay. And the grape, it's kind of reminiscent of Pinot Noir with a little spice and a little woodiness. I like, so, little, so, so good, I like a little spice. So good with uh, barbecue. Smells good. Nice dark fruit. It's very good. It is a little spicy. It, it's a little spicy. Oh, definitely on a the back. Woody. Uh, on the back too, you get a Does little. That makes sense. You get a little tannins. A little okay, bit of tannins, tannins too. I said Woody. He says tannins. That means well, Woody. He knows more of what he's talking about than I do. <laughs> Yes. It's also woody, definitely. <laughs> but you notice how it's, the tannins are on the back end. Had that with something that's kind of fatty. So you get, you know, put a steak on the grill. Wonderful. So Wonderful you would never, would you ever serve red wine with uh, seafood or? You could with salmon. Okay. I, th I think that's a real, that's very, very viable. Very viable. Probably not, this wouldn't go very well with uh, like a white fish though. It's a little so too you're strong. talking to somebody. When the grill's out, that means my husband's in charge, and I um, am sitting in the house or on the patio. I have nothing to do with any of it. This one runs thirteen ninety nine. So once again, I'm showing some very reasonable, very, very, absolutely very reasonable. The third one's going to be a little bit bigger. We're kind of building up. This is from France. Alan Jean Grand Veneur. I met his daughter about a year ago. She drove six hours through a snowstorm to show her wines in Toledo. Wonderful gal. This is a blend. 70% Grenache, 20 Syrah, and 10 Mulvedra. He's Le using words I don't know now. These are, th these are my favorite. This is my favorite area of the world. It's the Rhone region. Wonderful with all kinds of food. You can pair with virtually anything. It, smell, it definitely blueberry. smells different. Blue, little blueberry, little blackberry. Mm -hmm. I get a little slate. You can almost get the soil, just a tint. I don't get slate. See, this one, it's he's hiding. so smart. He's way smarter than me. I, I need a, citizen advisory to come up here. I can talk money much better than I can talk wine. There's a little lavender, too. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, my gosh, it's delicious. I can't talk about it, but I definitely like to drink it. So, would you serve this with something different? Yeah, the wild boar you killed in your backyard last night. <laughs> I kill no wild boar. I'll stick with steak, thanks. Uh. This is a big, this is a, uh, you'll notice it's a little bit sweeter than the second wine mm -hmm. was, but it's also a it's little, little, little more dense. I'm getting licorice on this, blackberry, little earthy note tones to it. This is what I'd have with the steak. I or, feel really 
just not very smart when you're up here talking about wine because I just enjoy it. You That's the idea. know so much more than I do. So much more. Okay, one more. I got to taste. Okay. This will be the big one. This is a very interesting glass we're creating here behind us yes. with all these remains. I don't this think is, I'd want to taste that. No. This is a uh, winery called Segazio out of Sonoma. Uh, getting a very famous reputation. This is a Zinfandel, 100% Zinfandel. And I heard that this is fantastic. Yes. A little birdie I in had the a sales department as I was walking in told me that this is outstanding wine. <laughs> this one may make it into my office before I leave, I'm just saying. Or before he leaves. The aroma's a little softer than, than the third wine. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Hmm, that's delicious. That's rich. That's oh, really wow. good. Feel that back. That's really back good. Wonderful. So, how Wonderful. much would this sell for? Uh, the third one, by the way, was 20. This is running about 25. This is delicious. You should definitely have this for your the finish is gorgeous. barbecues. All of these can be found at the liquor cabinet. It is just over the Michigan line. It's so easy to get to. They have all of these wines. They have a huge display of craft beers, too, if that's what you're looking for, for your barbecues or anything else. You can't beat it. And... You're really not going to beat this going straight to my office, I'm just saying. So, anyway, you should try all of them. We'll be right back on Better Living.